Hey guys, welcome to another episode of 4 and 3 Outdoors. Fellow staff members Tommy Motika and Ryan Bateman here. Um, we hope you enjoyed last week's episode of uh, Brandon Coates and his brother Aaron putting the smack down on two nice turkeys. Uh, this week's episode is going to be all based around pheasant hunting. Um, a little bit about myself. I started pheasant hunting when I was around probably 14 or so. My dad let me borrow a uh, old over and under shotgun he had and I went out with a buddy who had a flushing dog and went out and had a great time limited out on birds and I've been hooked ever since. I love everything about it. I love working the dogs in the field and just coming home with uh, meat that I'm able to provide for my family with. Um, that being said, pheasant season starts here in Massachusetts around October, usually around the early October, around the same time as bow season which kind of makes people like me run into a little problem because you're trying to do a balancing act of do I go sit in my deer stand or do I go take the dogs out pheasant hunting. Um, pheasant hunting I usually train all year round for but the season's about a month and a half long it usually goes till the end of November or the last week of uh, Thanksgiving. Here in Massachusetts you're allowed to shoot um, either species of birds male or female and you're only allowed two birds per day six per year. So that being said, you know, sometimes you go out there and you're able to find some and sometimes you're not. So basically in this week's episode, we, we compiled all our uh, footage from over this past season. And I even think we have some, some footage of uh, a snowstorm going on while we went out there, but we had nothing moving in the deer woods. So we decided to go out and give it, give it hell and see what happens. Um, I think we got uh, Ryan's first bird on video as well. Ryan's new to pheasant hunting. I just got him into it, but I don't know. What'd you think? Yeah, it's a um, great season. Um, this was my first year ever uh, pheasant hunting. I've always spent most of my time that type of, that time of year in the archery woods. Um, but it was nice to get out, you know, change the scenery. You're walking the dogs, watching the dogs work. Uh, Tommy's dogs, both Ruger and Winnie, are awesome. Um, they're great pointers. Um, we were on a lot of different birds this year. It was it was definitely a pretty good time. The snowstorm he was referring to was uh, November 14th. What an interesting day. Felt like I should be in the deer woods. We were out chasing pheasants instead. Dogs worked great. Footage was okay because we were able to actually see through the brush a little bit better. Uh, so I appreciate you taking me out this year, Tommy. Definitely a great time. Hope you guys all enjoy this episode. Uh, thanks for watching 413 Outdoors. This way, Winnie. Come on, Win.
See the head snap? It's awesome when you see that. When you get a puppy, that's all they want to do is catch it. Let's go get them, Lynn. Congratulations, Ryan Bateman, on your first uh, present this year on Tacticam, nonetheless. I don't know what her issue is bringing it back, but at least we get this beautiful log here to uh, assist. It is deep. Good girl, Winnie. Come here. What a good girl. Come here. Good girl, Winnie. Good girl. Yeah, good girl. Come here. Got Ryan his first bird. Come here. Bring it here. Touch it up. Come on. Come on, Winnie. Come on, Winnie girl. Come on, touch it up. Come on. Come on. Oh, good girl. Good girl. You got it. You got it. Oh, what do we got? Oh, what do we got there? That's a big one. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> still alive. He's still running. This thing is a turkey, dude. Oh my god. Found him. Found him. That's one you should get mounted. Look at the size of that. Wait, leave it. Leave it. Good girl. That is huge. I'll tell you what, I hit him. That is huge. That is a huge rooster. You got it all on video too, bro. Okay, let it go. 
Nice job. Nice shot. That is a mature rooster, Ryan. This hedgerow some more. There's obviously more birds here. Pretty bad. Wonder if you get a car on that barbed wire. Probably not. Uh, can only get that one left. We're gonna be dark soon. We're gonna be clear, buddy. Alright. Okay. Yeah, you right over by that. Let's go hit that and then we call before we get the bird. Turkey vulture. My dog just pointed it. Winnie, the tired pup, and Ruger. Great day they had today. Both dogs worked absolutely awesome. Just to show you guys some of the different maturity in these birds. So another way you can tell is obviously how long the tail feathers are. This is probably by far one of the most mature birds I've ever taken with my dogs. And this is the one Jim actually shot this morning. Just look at the overall size and Look at the length of the feathers. I mean, the tail feathers on this thing are gorgeous. This is one big, heavy, mature rooster. You know, whereas this one, still a nice bird, mature bird. Feathers are definitely, the tail feathers are pretty long, but just the size difference is uncomparable. And then obviously we have the woodcock. It's still a mature woodcock, but they're nowhere near the size of a pheasant. You need about, a, I'd say at least five or six to have a decent meal, but still a cool bird and uh, definitely fun to shoot. Shooting at woodcock definitely humbles you because they're nowhere near the size of a rooster. So, I don't know. In my opinion, I feel like if you can hit a woodcock, you're doing pretty well for yourself shooting-wise. So, for any of you that don't know, this is how you clean a pheasant. Well, you know, one way anyways. Pulling the triggers, all fun and games, but as soon as you pull the trigger, that's when the fun stops and the work begins. Same with shooting a deer or a turkey or anything. A lot of guys and girls will stand on the bird's wings and pull up, but I just like to take the extra time to skin it out. To each their own. I can usually do a bird pretty quick. It's right here is a BB. Always try to get the BBs out before you cook it up. Otherwise, if you have a mole or something in your mouth, your mouth is going to feel it. I don't know if you can see that. It's a size shot. You usually use number six. One of the BBs Tommy found in the meat. Bird number one done. Overwatch Outpost Sporting Goods. Rods, reels, and rifles for hunting and fishing. Fetch it up, dead bird, fetch it up. Dead bird, fetch it
Whoa! Whoa! Right in front of him, Ryan. Can you see it? Ruger Wall. Whoa! 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 Kick him right out of there, Ryan. Get down there. Ruger Wall. Whoa! Thank you. Good boy. Good boy. What a good boy. Oh, what a good boy. Nice rooster, Ryan. Yo.
Overwatch Outpost Sporting Goods. Rods, reels, and rifles for hunting and fishing. Wicked Twisted Bowstrings. Trader Jan's Archery Pro Shop. Overwatch Outpost. JNS Scent. Can't beat the heat. Scent Lock. Hang On Helper. Guardian Hunting. Hawk. Upwind Motor Elimination. Tacticam. Share your hunt. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of our pheasant hunting experience this year, 2017. And uh, as some of you may know who tried to self film yourself, it's a lot harder than uh, you first think about um, getting all the shots and all the angles and trying to get the bird and the dog work all together. But I think we did a pretty good job for our first season. Um, that being said, we couldn't have done it without our sponsors as well. You guys made a great deal to us and uh, we thank you for everything that you do. Stay tuned for next week's episode, 413 Outdoors.